Ooh, scorp, 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 scorp. You are loving this courtroom battle right now. You're loving the moment between Sagittarius and Gemini. Intro. Yes. 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 Yes, I do look like a gay Trelawney. You're hashtag welcome. Why? Because we give zero fucks today. This full moon is a diddly bopple of a doozle whimsel. And we are saying hello to Sagittarius. Where has Sagittarius been all year? In the South Node. Sagittarius has been screaming from the depths of our subconscious and now they are here with all the fire. All the fire. We thought last month was a diddly bopple. Well, this month is a whimsy boops. Please comment below with the translation for those moments. I would love, I would love, I would love, I would love. Welcome to Full Moon Videos. We have Gemini Sun, we have Sagittarius, uh, moon, and it's right next to the nodes. The nodes have been opposing each other. They're always opposing each other, but the, the north and south node has been north node Gemini, south node Sagittarius for many, 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 many months. And now we're getting the full, full, full moment. However, we got to add a little seasoning to this. It is the eclipse, the lunar eclipse. A lunar eclipse is when you have the full moon, you have Earth, and then you have the sun. <laughs> so if I'm the sun, hashtag naturally, then the Earth, we are shadowing the light, the illuminaries from the moon. The focus, the illuminaries, the focus. So this is going to be clouded. This is going to be confused. This is going to be deep, 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 deep. Are you there, moon? Are you there? Totally eclipse of the heart. Um, we have also with the sun in Gemini, we have Mercury and Venus saying, um... All we want to do is express our values and express like like what's going on and just like express love and express femininity and like we have lots of questions about like what we're supposed to be doing like I have so many questions about what I'm supposed to be doing can somebody please just talk to me about what I'm supposed to be doing and this moon is saying no <laughs> no now is not the time for questions now is the time for you to clock into what you've been percolating what you've been like simmering on for months now months what is the ruling planet of uh sagittarius that would be jupiter where is jupiter right now jupiter is currently being ruled by pisces what else is being ruled by pisces hashtag neptune so we have pisces in both of its ruling planets meaning pisces is exalted meaning right now this full sagittarius moon is going to feel very piskin. It's gonna feel very, 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 very spiritual and harmonious and collective subconscious. Yesterday, I was met with so much rage. I opened up to this full moon and I was overcome with rage and anger. Gemini season hit and we said, enough of this Taurus shit, I wanna fly. I want to soar, I want to take off, I want to go, I want to live, I want to be. I have so many questions about what I've been listening to. And questions meets more questions meets more questions meets more questions meets impossibility meets problems meets, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do, what do we do? So first, the exploration that I want to do today with the cogs is where can we tap into the joyful spirituality of this moment? How can we tap into the love and, and the positive insights that Pisces slash Sagittarius want to give us? Okay, we're keeping this one positive. Hashtag positive. 
And um, the other thing that I want to do, this lunar eclipse, every time there's a lunar eclipse, it, it, it has to deal with relations, relationships. Yes, and, and yes, this could be romantic, but this could also be like, who are you in relationship with? Your career, with your family, with your friends, with a project, with, 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 a, with a dog. <laughs> so I wanted to put a little offering out between now and the new moon for the next two weeks. For $25, you can get a 30-minute tarot reading, and the focus will be on, on this relationship moment. Does it need a resurgence? Does it need a closure and goodbye? What does this relationship need that you are in? So if you're like, oh, I know what relationship I'm in. Oh shit, I don't know what to do. Then let's, let's meet 25 bucks. Boom boozle. We'll, we'll get in there. We'll get it answered. We'll kick all change out. Uh, DM me about those. Also, for your viewing pleasure is the Gemini Workshop, available on my website. And then on my Patreon, I have started to film meditation series. So, um, uh, those are available for you. There's also more content on OnlyFans, um, more meditative content. I just posted a chakra alignment video from Maui. Um, so go check all that out. Okay. You are not totally done. Oh. Now, Scorpio, you being the deep diving, investigative, magical creature that you are, that we know and love, um, you're going to want to gravitate towards Sagittarius. That feels more um, connected to you. Like the Mars fire is going to be like, yeah, rage, yeah, go, ah, yeah, we're on your You don't really love the flight, the flittiness, the pandemonium of Gemini. It's like, it's too much. So you're going to naturally gravitate towards the, 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 the Sagittarius depth. But there is also an investigative moment right now between Gemini and, and Sagittarius. And this is where it kind of all comes to a head. The nodes have been journeying for a while, right? So this, this courtroom battle is, is like reaching its pinnacle. This is a big moment. Who's going to win for you? Who's going to win for you? Expansion, laws, fire? or tangibility, air, and questioning. Your heart of the matter is five of cups, grief and sadness. Supporting factors are daughter of wands, two of wands, upside down, and the fool. So this is the five of cups, right? Sadness, 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 sadness. Sagittarius is expanding all of your sadness. Sagittarius is expanding all of your deep sea drama. If you're currently on like, I'm on team Ge Gemini. It's because you're avoiding this. If you're like, I'm on team Sagittarius, then you're like doing the work, right? Here's what will help you in this work. Here's where your joy lies. A wonderment of your creativity. Love the fire. Love your Mars. Your Mars is emotional right now because of cancer. Be nice to yourself. Two of Wands, how well do you treat yourself on the journey to your highest dreams? Upside down, devil, devil, devil. You are seeing all of this, all of this forest fire, this pandemonium, you're seeing the collective, you're seeing the collective subconscious. It's evil, it's hard, it's rageful, it's dark, it's dirty, it's disgusting, it's problematic, it's triggering. It's isolating, it's all the things. You control how nice you are to yourself. Give yourself love. You're not doing it yet, upside down. And then the fool. This is be a little foolish, boo boo. This is be like, like surrender, like dive to the adventure. Surrender to the adventure. Say yes to the ruling. 
Like, allow there to actually be something else. Allow there to actually be something other than sadness. You don't allow the pendulum to swing. You are not meant to stay in the dark. You love the dark, but you gotta have equality between light and dark. You gotta have equality between love and fear. Say yes. Say yes to balance. Say yes to understanding. Say yes to, to restructuring of your laws. And I'm here for you. You are so loved. Goodbye.